Hey, what's going on guys, Grenade here, and today I'll be showing you how to make a thumbnail, and I know, I know, I already uploaded a video about it, I'm not a money whore, I'm not trying to get more views, what I'm trying to do is show you exactly how to make one, like a big YouTuber, like I promised, I mean, I, I look back at the video and I'm like, well, I showed them how to make a thumbnail, but I didn't really imitate someone else, like, okay, so what we're gonna do today is I'll show you exactly how T. Martin makes his own thumbnails. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to be mean, I'm not trying to take away his career or anything, but like, I'm a small channel, so this video will probably be like, meaningless, so it uh, doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this, but in your own style. So we're gonna kinda copy everything he did into the thumbnail. So I'm gonna show you exactly how he did it. So first of all, we want to use Photoshop. And I know some of you use GIMP, but you guys have to, you know, kind of, you know, upgrade because I used GIMP but GIMP wasn't as strong as a picture editing software as Photoshop so um, now let's get right into it so you want to click on file oh, <laughs> sorry before I even start I might go a bit fast considering that you guys already know how to use Photoshop and if you don't know how to use Photoshop make sure you watch one of my older videos and you'll see exactly how to use it and so first of all we're gonna click on file and new and then we'll just you know that is just normal and then we're gonna add another layer and then that layer will have, oops, sorry, that layer will be the color of the background. So as you can see, the background is kind of baby bluish. So we'll do exactly that. So we're going to change the color to a baby bluish. So that's like right there, right? Yeah, that's like perfect. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to double click. And we're going to do that. And there you go. One solid color. Click hold shift and pull it all the way down and there's our solid color add another layer and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the gun so most of you were asking me dude how do you get transparent pictures well I'm gonna show you how right now so first of all you have to put PNG after every single search so for example ghosts ripper or ripper PNG PNG is a transparent file so that way every time you put PNG it'll bring up a transparent file so as you can see this one is transparent and however this one is not this one has gray stuff on it in the back so that's not transparent don't save it don't think it's gonna be transparent because it's not so go to the one down here and this one is transparent and what's the difference well you can see it has a checkered background and that indicates that it's transparent and plus it kinda looks transparent so all you gotta do is right click save as and save it wherever you want to and then life is good so basic little tutorial after everything you type in PNG 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 keep that in your head so now we're gonna do is add the gun so file place and then we're gonna go wherever you save that gun to so mine's in my desktop and here it is rifle gun or whatever it says so all you gotta do is just move it to the place you want it tilt it wherever you want it and so we'll just kinda do that you know make it you know what we'll make it a bit smaller hold shift so you won't lose that kind of you know even kind of thing so right there right there is perfect so hit the enter key and then we're gonna make another layer and this will be the text so add another layer so we have two text because it says new gun and each um, little thing is an individual one so we're going to do is get the text tool make a large text and then just do new and then click on the other one and then make another oops sorry did not mean to do that escape so click on that one and then just make another one and then just give it to that um, make it a bit bigger if you can or you know what delete the layer right click duplicate layer and then just do that and then after that you can just click here and just type in gun and then click escape or actually don't click escape um, gun and then click on a different layer so you can get rid of that selection thing hold the control key and then you can move that down like so and so we'll just do that and the gun part and the new we'll just do that so so far we've got it so far we've got it yeah I think we got it so now what we want to do is basically do what he did so as you can see he has this little star spotlight background and so most of you can probably make it for yourselves but however some of us can't do it and I'm here to help you so I'm not here to kind of ruin your parade so all you gotta do now is I'm very nice so I've got this freaking um, your own star 
PNG and the star is basically this little thing in the background here so I'm basically giving you my version of the star so um, all you gotta do is click download you download it and then you just use it so that's gonna get you this little spotlight thing so let's assume that you already downloaded it so you got, all you gotta do is go to file place and go wherever you saved it at mine's in my pictures and I, all I gotta do is type in star PNG and star PNG is basically this thing right here so as you can see it's like the same spotlight thing you click on place and there you go and the point of this is so it spotlights whatever you want it to spotlight so obviously we want to spotlight the weapon because that's the new thing so all you gotta do is enlarge it over exaggerate it because look see it's like cut up right there so over exaggerate your stretch just to make sure it's not gonna stay behind so you just put it over the weapon and boom there we go and just to be sure he has it like at the bottom so we'll just do the same thing from the bottom all the way to the top and we'll just keep on doing that and perfect you just hit the inner key and there we go isn't that like the exact same uh, no alright so double click on the star background and then we'll just drop the shadow we're gonna add color overlay because as you can see here this one's blue and this one's red we don't want it to be red that's pretty weird and contrasting so you want to click on that make sure as you can see here he has the same color the same blue but a bit darker so we're going to do light blue but go a bit darker there we go and so you click on that and as you can see here he has like a little texture to it so we'll just click on texture and then what else does he have on it um that's pretty much it um gradient if we want to and you know what the gradient's not gonna work out outer no pattern no just leave it like that that looks um, just fine so there we go we double click on that and then oops not on that on the weapon itself and then what we want to do is drop the shadow I'll move this out of the way so you can see drop the shadow and so that's what he has there he has a glow outer glow so there we go even more glow he has um, inner glow which gives it that sort of effect he has right there and the stroke no not the stroke um, let's see that's it that is it for that one and then for these letters right here they don't look very nice do they cuz they're green so we're just gonna align them just right like right there yeah right there so we're gonna double click again double clicking makes everything better so drop the shadow and then as you can see he has this like sort of font and that font is um I think it's Bebas new the one I use so um I'll show you right now it's that one Bebas Bebas new I have a video on it um I'll make sure to leave everything in the description below so all you gotta do is double click on that again and then we've got the drop shadow we have to add the gradient that's where it's at that's where T Martin gets all of his colors and how it looks like so um hit the gradient thing hit the little color thing right there and oh my god it looks so much similar like it doesn't it so the gradient is like it goes from light to dark so we'll do that so it's like that so you want to double click on that and not double click just click once and then we want to sort of get this and shift it so as you can see like that and so like I said it's lighter on the top and dark on the bottom so we'll just do that um, right there I guess just a little bit more just a little bit more there we go there we go there we go. no 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 not that not that not that um, I have way too many of these um, there we go there we go right there perfect I don't know how I did it but there we go and then you click OK and then you wanna click stroke and there we go see looks exactly the same doesn't it so when you go to stroke make sure you make the size a bit bigger so as you can see here I'm gonna make it to five and it's gonna look a whole lot better so as you can see there it's kind of the same this one is not great of a quality because I just took like downloaded it straight from his video so as you can see it looks a whole lot better and your video looks a whole lot just I don't know the thumbnail makes everything awesome so all you gotta do now is not double click there but right click copy layer style that way you won't have to do this crap all over again for the other one so you go on to your gun make sure it's selected you right click you paste and there you go bada bing bada boom there it is so you click and just adjust the letters right there and there you go guys that's pretty much it so if you want to you can slow down the video pause it exactly and then just do exactly what I uh, I'm sorry do exactly what I did so here it is stroke gradient overlay and drop shadow 
and that's pretty much it guys so thank you for watching and hopefully you heard me mutter and I'm not restarting this video all over again just for that so there it is so I'll have this in the link in the description below and make sure that you comment rate and definitely subscribe so tell me does this look kind of you know the same different I don't know um, I think it looks kind of the same so yeah that's pretty much it guys so thank you for watching comment rate and definitely subscribe so you can get some more YouTube tips that big youtubers never show you so here's living proof and oops just minimize that so here's some proof showing you guys that it's almost exactly the same it just imitating it in my own style so that's it so thanks for watching comment rate and definitely subscribe for even more content so peace